Hey friends, it's Brian here, and today I'm going to work on my 1940s Monarch lathe. It's a 1941, May of 1941 is when this lathe was made. I'm in the process of getting it set up. So what I'm going to work on today is adjusting these bolts. I've already hit all of the um, leveling feet with some, um, oh, some uh, penetrating oil. Gosh, I'm having, I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, I'm just gonna work on cleaning this up. Uh, I just got it under power about a week ago. I, I, spoiler alert, I did make a test cut on it. It's filthy nasty. And I've liberally applied whey oil. Um, I got a bunch of stuff. I have not gone through this machine. Uh, I wanted to get to the point where I had it under power and I knew that it ran. So now I'm going to start the process of cleaning it up and doing it justice. Um, so I'm going to put it in time lapse mode because I think this is kind of boring and self explanatory. Um, when I bought this machine, I bought uh, that's that's a motor shaft, but I bought I thought maybe I was going to have to roll these, so I bought this stock. I think it's inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Um, but I bought a bunch of these um, from a local metal shop, uh, metal supermarkets here in southeast Houston. Great people. Um, but anyway, I bought a bunch of those and I'm gonna use them as test and learning tools um, for this lathe. It's just some material that I can turn down and turn into chips. So anyway, uh, today's project is get this thing cleaned up. Um, so let's do it to it. All right, so I'm gonna switch. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm kind of going through the machine and cleaning it up a little bit. I need to get some kerosene, which I don't have. Um, that's the solvent used on machine tools. And um, this line is disconnected from here and it just looks like it's a little piece of rubber hose being used with nuts as a clamp. So when you have rubber hose that's sticky and old, a heat gun will make it play nice. So that's what we're going to use. And I took some pictures of this and posted it to the home machine shop group in hopes that uh, the modern version of Phone a Friend can help me understand what in the hayride am I looking at here? I really do think that's exactly what this is. 
So a lot of times um, the uh, polymers and the elastomer, ela the plasticizers come out of the rubber over time. And so heating it up will reactivate it. And uh, frequently this can help things that seem stuck become unstuck. Hey, there we go. What in the hayride is this? That's some field engineering rigged up fucking shit. And you know what? It's going right in the trash. Um, so let me get a pick and try and get that out of there. This isn't a pick, but it'll work. So apparently somebody broke these copper lines at some point. There we go. Uh, maybe that was just something else. Now, I don't know how big that is, but let's find out. These cheap little horrible frame. Yeah, that one needs a new battery. Fortunately, I have a bunch of these cheap Chinese pieces of shit around here. All right, so apparently this one needs a battery too. Let me go get one that has a fresh. Okay, so after some searching of the internet, oh, you got to be fucking kidding me. Another goddamn dead battery. I'll try again here. All right, I had one battery left, so that'll work. It is 3.6 millimeters. So what is that in inches? That is 0.14 inches. So let me see what I've got. I might have a piece of tubing this small just happen to be around here. All right, so at this point, I basically just need to wait for um, a piece of hose to arrive. <coughs> so I can put this back together. And that's really all there is that I could do today. So I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, we need to get this uh, lubrication line reconnected in order to pump oil up to everything up here. So until that happens, uh, I'm just going to kind of, you know, wrap it up for the day. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, join me uh, next time to see more about how I bring this Monarch Lace back to back to work. <laughs>